Hi everyone. Today we are going to talk about a few ways in which we can productionalize our models. So as a data scientist when we build models, so we also need to keep in mind how will this model go into production or how will someone use it in uh, live systems. Okay. So I am going to use this IS dataset from SQLearn datasets. So load IS loads uh, data within this data object. Let's see what all does it contain. So it contains data within data array and uh, the target variable is in target array. So we are going to use them and uh, build simple models. So I'm creating this Iris data frame using pandas library. So as we saw that uh, data is within data array. So we are going to use that and uh, these are the column names which I'm giving to it, right? So it's sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width, okay? And uh, target is within data.target. So I'm assigning that to a new column in Iris. So if you see that uh, my observations are correctly ordered, right? So if I split it, then uh, I might get all zeros or all twos in my test data. So my model won't work perfectly. So rather I'm going to randomize it using sample function. So my data is randomized now. Uh, from SQLearn, I'm going to use trend test split to split my data into training and testing. Currently my X test and X train, they contain target variable, which we created over here. So I'm just dropping them. Next, I'm going to build this uh, decision tree classifier again from SQLearn. So I'm just using the default parameters because idea is not to teach decision tree, but rather how to personalize the model. So this is how my data looks like. Yes, okay. So I fitted the model on train and this is how I can predict. Okay. So one way to uh, save your model is using pickle format. So pickle is a format in which Python serializes any object and uh, it stores information in such a way that uh, a new system can easily rebuild the object from the serialized file. So I'm using package job lib over here. And I'm dumping my model into dt model dot pkl. So pkl is uh, the extension for pkl file. Okay. So now model is saved. So I've created this uh, new empty notebook. Let me do one thing. Let me load data from here. Okay. So my data is ready to be consumed. The next I'm going to load the model for that. I'm going to use job lib again. So I'm using job lib dot load. So I had said my pickle file name to be dt dot model dot pickle. So it's loaded. Now I can directly use this model object over here. So I don't need to retrain or anything. So I'll just put Iris to this and you can see that uh, it works perfectly. So in this way, I can pass my object from one system to another, right? But uh, the pickle is generally used only for Python. But uh, what if I want to load it into, let's say Java or Scala, my production systems are written in Scala. So how can I do that? Let's see that. Okay. So the second method is to use pipeline and uh, then convert them to something called as PMML or uh, predictive model markup language. So PMML is a common language when it comes to model prediction, which every major uh, language today understand. So whether it's uh, Java, it's Scala or Python, 
everybody understands uh, PMML file and its structure. So we'll see how can we build PMML file and how can we use them. Okay, so this is simple pipeline which uh, I know that you might have understood till now. So I'm creating this pipeline object within that I have two steps. One is a putting through simple imputer and second to build uh, this disentry classifier model okay so my pipeline is ready now i'm going to fit it using x train y train so my pipeline is fit i have imputer and model so if i want i can predict using my pipeline but that's not the objective today so today what we are going to use is uh, this package called sklearn 2 pmml so there is one more package known as a uh, nyoka nyoka which i can use to convert a pipeline into pmml files okay so the syntax is pretty similar so i am importing two sub modules from sklearn 2 pmml sklearn 2 pmml and uh, make pmml pipeline so this make pmml pipeline converts sklearn pipeline object to something which sklearn to pmml understands then using sklearn to pmml i am saving this entire object into this file called uh, pipe underscore pmml dot uh, pmml okay so PMML is a pretty smart way of uh, storing your data points, right? So it contains all of your information within this uh, XML format, right? So let's go to the tree directly. So the entire decision tree, it has converted into this format, which every language understands. So what it is essentially doing is this is my node 0 and uh, there are some 36 observations which went here so if my x3 value is less than or equal to 2.44 then there are 36 observations which are in class 0 and uh, zero observations in class one and two right similarly for uh, x4 if it is less than or equal to 1.75 then all of them are going to one right so this way it has uh, created the model so that any other language can understand it easily okay so this is about pml and uh, pickle objects so currently pmml is supported for majority of sklearn models being it uh, uh, exeboost random forest your uh, decision tree and even for unsupervised learning problems let's go and see one more way so i hope you understand what uh, api is so api is a uh, you can understand that it is a service which is uh, exposed to external clients right so for example uh, when we are logging into facebook using our user id and password we are actually sending that two objects for facebook authentication api and it returns whether user is authenticated or not to our browser and ultimately facebook lets you in right so we are going to use the similar concept using apis so we are going to host our model using something called as flask api so using flask i can host any kind of uh, response i want to get from the client or want to return from server okay so So this is how we write our uh, Flask API server side code. So you can actually ignore this. Right. 
So I'm using Flask library, then Joblib to load the model, pandas, numpy. Then I'm creating two sub routes in my API. The one is home, which is doing nothing but uh, returning hello world. Okay. Then this is where our prediction model is going on. So if you see, this is the main function if I run it. So I'm loading this model, dt underscore model dot pickle, which we had saved, right? And uh, within predict function, I'm using this loaded classifier and uh, predicting output based on the input given to this. Okay. So as simple as that, there are two sub routes. One is home. I'm not doing anything but returning hello world and uh, in slash predict I'm going to get whatever I want okay so let's see it so I hosted it in home so it should return me hello world this is doing now how can I access this so there are multiple ways in which you can access so one way is to use uh, this curl kind of uh, uh, commands using curl you can directly get the api and uh, you can save the response or you can create uh, this kind of requests while sending data okay so i want to see what will be the output of flower if i give sepal length as 4.8 width as 3.0 petal length at 1.4 and petal width at 0 0.3 right so we have posted our api over here so i'm going to use this url okay so as you can see that uh, we have received our output as 0th class let's see whether this is correct or not just a second so let me copy this uh, first or uh, second observation from here and we can see the class is one now let me So this is 6.6, 2 .6, 4 .6, 1 .3. let's see what do we get. So we correctly get one is the picked class. So our Flask API is working fine. So these are a few ways in which you can productionalize your model you can choose pickle files if you are working from python to python but if you are going from python to some other language like uh, java scala or anything then you should prefer using pmml objects and the objective is to serve over api then you can use flask as the route so thanks for today we'll see you in the next class